The new Puma Infantry Fighting Vehicle IFV, is a collaborative project between Krauss Maffei Wegmann and Rainmetal in Germany. Its purpose is to replace the aging German Martyr 1 IFV, which has been in service for over 30 years. In 2004, five pre-production vehicles of the Puma were delivered, and subsequent trials and tests were successfully completed. The German Army received its first production Puma IFVs in 2015, with plans to deliver approximately 350 units. Originally, there were intentions to acquire 405 new IFVs, but this number was later scaled down due to budget constraints. This procurement program stands as the largest in the German Army. The initial objective was for the Puma to gradually replace the aging Martyr IFV, positioning it as one of the world's most advanced and well-protected IFVs. However, operational usage unveiled certain issues with the armored vehicle. During exercises in Germany between 2022 and 2023, all 18 Puma IFVs participating in the drills experienced breakdowns on the battlefield, rendering them incapable of fulfilling their assigned tasks. Consequently, German military officials promptly announced a cessation of further orders for these armored vehicles. The Puma stands out as one of the most well-protected IFVs currently available. It boasts a welded armor hull with modular add-on armor sections, offering three protection levels adaptable to operational requirements. Its weight varies between 29.4 to 43 tons, contingent on the chosen protection level. Although there are heavier IFVs available, such as the German Lynx KF-41 and the Russian Armada Heavy IFV, the Puma maintains a high level of protection. In its standard configuration, the base model provides frontal and flank protection against 30mm rounds, and all-round protection against 14.5mm machine gun fire. The most heavily protected variant can be likened to a heavy IFV, featuring the ability to add additional armor modules, which increases its weight to 43 tons. In this configuration, it even surpasses the weight of the T-72 main battle tank. This most secure version of the Puma is reportedly capable of withstanding 120 and 125 mm projectiles over the front arc, as well as mine blasts equivalent to 10 kg of TNT. The vehicle also incorporates advanced threat warning, NBC protection, and automatic fire suppression systems as standard features. Armed with a remotely operated weapon station, the Puma IFV is equipped with a Mauser 30 mm dual-fed cannon, known for its use on Austrian Ulan and Spanish Pizarro IFVs. The cannon has an effective range of 3 km. The vehicle is also set to be armed with an anti-tank guided missile ATGM, launcher, although the specific type remains undisclosed, possibilities include the spike missile or one of its variants. Secondary armaments consist of a 5. 56mm machine gun and a 76mm grenade launcher for close-range defense. The Puma IFV accommodates a crew of three and can transport up to eight infantry personnel in its rear compartment. Troops enter and exit the vehicle through a power-operated ramp at the back. The vehicle is equipped with air conditioning for enhanced comfort. Powering the Puma is the MTU MT892 Ka 501 turbocharged diesel engine, featuring a V10 configuration and a formidable output of 1,090 horsepower. This engine outmatches the power of certain main battle tanks, for instance, the original T-72 tank had a 720 horsepower engine, and the current Russian T-90A main battle tank employs a 1,000 horsepower engine. Unfortunately, due to its weight, the German IFV is not amphibious. In terms of variations, the Puma A1 represents an upcoming upgrade for the heavy IFVs. Approximately 250 out of the planned 350 German IFVs are slated for the A1 upgrade between 2021 and 2023.